Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your bonus love reading. This is going to be a 411 reading where we're going to look at what's going on in your connection, how are they feeling about you, and what's next. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guys. Messages for Sagittarius regarding love. Sagittarius need to know regarding love. Messages for Sagittarius. As always, these are general readings, Sagittarius, so they will not resonate for everyone, okay? It is safe for you to love, and then we have flirt at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm -hmm. Open your heart. I feel like this is new. Bottom of the deck, I have release your ex and let go of control issues. I feel like with flirt, I got like new energy. Like this is someone that maybe your feelings are new for this person or this is a new connection or something different in an old connection. Let's see. Tell me more about this connection between Sagittarius and the person they are thinking about at this time. Here you are, temperance. other person okay ten of pentacles reverse knight of wands reverse hmm okay queen of cups reverse so whatever this happened uh whatever this connection is at this time there has been disappointment a lack of um commitment here consistency there could have even been a broken commitment here. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Something that maybe it wasn't the right time or was difficult. Yep, Ten of Swords reverse. So something has already ended here for you. I don't know if it's with this person specifically or if this is, wow, there was definitely a broken commitment. Could have been a broken marriage here. And look what's at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. I just stopped shuffling and that's what is at the bottom of the deck. So again, it's like this, there's just a new energy here. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Page of Cups reverse and the Devil. Capricorn energy. So again, uh, there has been disappointment. There was a lot of disappointment and heartbreak here. And maybe even an unhealthy attachment, a toxicity here. Cancer energy with the chariot reverse. Things just stopped progressing. And then death card reverse, Scorpio energy. Um, and then there's another ace right behind that. Behind, Right after justice is an ace of wands. There's a new choice here, a new path here. And with Justice, Libra energy, things are going to be made right again. But I feel like this happens uh, after an ending and there's resistance there. There's a feeling of being stuck in a situation possibly that is difficult. Uh, this could be your energy, Sagittarius, or your person. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. It could be a mix of you here as well. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? There's the Ace of Cups again, I'm telling you. It's like after disappointment or heartbreak, there is a new beginning abundance here. Nine of Wands reverse. And the Empress, yes, abundance. For sure. And it's like after a difficult period here, because we have the Nine of Wands reversed. Um, I feel like there's been something that maybe has been difficult to let go of. Could be an X. I did have release your X at the bottom of the deck and then let go of control issues. And I feel like maybe you're closing yourself off to new love or a new opportunity without meaning to. And I feel like, I don't know, this is like somebody new. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. 
Spirit for Sagittarius, please. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Yeah, I feel like this is new. New energy, stable energy, more traditional, something that leads to commitment. Wow, and then the High Priest is reversed, and there you are at the bottom of the deck, Temperance. Look at all these major arcanas showing up. So there's like a rebalancing here with with regards to a conflict or deception or something like that. Something that hasn't been fair to you. That's reminding me of the Justice card with the Five of Swords. There's something that's slowly coming together. And I feel like the, these two cards are related. The High Priestess Reverse. There's something that someone's realizing here. Someone's opening their, their, their heart or opening um, communication here. Wow, Three of Cups. There could be a choice between two. Um, I'm also picturing a reunion for some of you. Something that's slowly coming together here. But there's conflict surrounding that in some way. Or, you know, maybe this is going to take some time to, to get, you know, balanced. But, I mean, with the Empress and the Ace of Cups, this is very beautiful energy. Something... Growing, manifesting, abundance, love. So let's look at your person. This other person. Whether this is someone that you are in a connection with, have been in a connection with before, or is someone new. Tell me about their energy spirit. The person that Sagittarius is being with, or in a connection with, or will be in a connection with. This other person. Tell me about their energy, please, spirit. Tell me about their energies, please. Where's their energy at this time, this other person? We got poetic justice, fairness, balance, karma. You will have justice and balance will be restored. Yeah, I feel like this is this is either someone that's wanting to make things right or things are going to be made right and in your favor with this person. Can I get one more, please? Burdened heart. Falling leaves. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be justice after some sort of burden. Weighing on your heart, some sort of difficulty once again. Time changes everything with the falling leaves. So there's going to be something changing here. And I feel like it's going to like start with this person. Maybe they're going through um, a situation, a legal situation, or they're also dealing with difficulty and are making some sort of change or transition in their life. This is reminding me of the death card because I have changes, transition, time. Tell me more about this other person. What are they secretly thinking or feeling towards Sagittarius? Please forgive me. You are my soulmate. Expect a message. Please forgive me. So some of you could be dealing with someone from the past. Soulmate-like energy. Tell me more about this person. Maybe you already know this person. Maybe this is someone you know from a distant past. Because with the flirt card and with the Ace of Cups and the Empress, I'm getting like new energy. Like there's a new, like a new leaf or like a new cycle completely different to the one in the past. Tell me more about this person. Five of Wands, conflict, arguments, drama. Tell me more about this person. This person could be dealing with a lot of um, obstacles in their life. Yep, Eight of Cups. So they're going through a transition. Maybe they're walking away from something, a difficult situation, a burden. Ah, okay. Can I get one more for this King of Wands reverse? Nine of Cups. So this is someone that I feel, yeah, they're standing their ground with the Seven of Wands fighting back. And there's a tower. So again, there's a lot of conflict here. Challenges, opposition that someone's dealing with. They're needing to have courage. Because in order to walk to their Nine of Cups, from Eight of Cups to Nine of Cups, there's a King of Wands reverse, which could be a, a specific person that is uh, difficult to deal with. Or it could be that they need to do things right. Can I get one more, please, for this King of Wands reverse? 
There could be somebody standing in the way of this person's happiness. The star reverse. Hmm. So there could be, yeah, okay. So this is going to require a choice. Two of Pentacles. There's the Ten of Pentacles reverse again. This could be somebody leaving a long-term commitment or having some sort of difficulty with, with commitment. Uh, maybe a commitment between you has taken a long time to come together. And for some reason, there's, you know, someone's losing hope or faith in this happening. Um, maybe there needs to be a lot of healing due to a broken commitment here. Again, okay, seven of wands. Yes, yeah, this is somebody standing firm and fighting for what they truly believe in. Having courage, facing people with, you know, in a firm way. I'm getting that for a very small number of you. I think you're ready for new love and you're standing firm against this person. Maybe there's too much that happened between you, but I feel like that's a very small number. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Can I get one more place for this Eight of Cups? Five of Cups. Regrets, difficulties here. So that this person has regrets regarding their past and I feel like they're walking away. Maybe they're missing something here with the five of cups. So where's all of this headed? I feel like there's a lot going on here and since this is a bonus short reading, I'm not going to be able to like really dig in to every um, card that I want to. But um, they're leaving due to regrets or disappointment. So they're not happy where they're at or they're missing something where they're at. So where is this headed, Spirit, in the near future? Where is this headed? Wow, the Ten of Cups. Holy crap. Ultimate happiness here. Where is this headed for Sagittarius? Okay, I'm going to put those together. Can I get one more, please? Where is this headed? There's somebody here. Um, I hope it's not your person. But there's like decept... Okay. Worry, stress, anxiety. Someone's feeling very guilty over what happened. And I feel like it's keeping them from reaching out. Yeah, there's a choice that this person needs to make. And they're thinking about it with the hermit Virgo energy they've withdrawn to really figure this out because something is happening here either this happened in the past where there was some sort of deception someone was probably playing around non-committal um, was distracted or went after something that they thought yeah they thought it was going to be good but it ended up being a six of wands reverse there's regret about that Any guidance for Sagittarius I'm using my stellar guidance deck here? All of the decks that I've used are linked in the description box. All of these are mine, the energy deck and the moon deck. Spare any guidance or advice for Sagittarius, please. This person's probably gonna wanna talk to you. Yeah, abundance. Once more, we get the abundance card. There's something new or something that's growing here, manifesting for you for sure. Yep, abundance and open your heart. Yep. It's the same message that we've kind of been getting here. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I feel like open your heart because this is definitely something that is leading towards growth and abundance. But also listen to your intuition about whoever you're dealing with. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more or just want to support the channel for free. Uh, leave me a comment if this resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.